All right, we got our first Ekeo. The first thing's done. <laughs> the EKGs. It was supposed to take like 45 minutes and it turned into four hours of tests. My heart's really tender right now. Overwhelmed is probably the emotion I think JD and I are both feeling the most right now. Good morning, Team Hour. I am talking to you this morning outside of the hospital. So we are here for an echo, echocardiogram, if I'm saying that right. Stress test, which I wonder if they may be the same thing, not really sure. As well as a ultrasound, lung x-rays. The more things I say, the more I want to cry. So I'm going to leave it there. A few other things. We are here today. JD's already inside. <clears throat> I just gave my kids to my sister. And I'm going to go in and join him. All right, we got our first echo. The first thing's done. <laughs> the EKGs. The EKGs and a baseline and then they're gonna have him run and hopefully get his heart rate above 158 is that what you said 158 and then they'll lay him down and do it again so that it's real nice. yes that was a hefty motor right there <laughs> finished we finished the first ultrasound and he's about ready for the stress test how was that I'm tired now how am i supposed to go down? <laughs> no caffeine in days <laughs> <laughs> just pure oh. strength endurance <laughs> pure get strength so it sounds like they'll basically you got to push yourself till you can't go anymore like it. <clears throat> and hopefully that's at least 158 beats a minute. Yeah. Okay, let's Which see what you're made of. Okay, I thought I'd come outside and update you guys. Take my mask off for a minute and get some fresh air. I'll be honest, the doctor used a lot of words. Also, this doctor seems fantastic, but like so incredibly smart that I don't understand what he's saying. And I feel like most of the time I feel like I can keep up with him, but I'm like, what? I don't, I don't know what he's saying. <laughs> so he, we just had like a family doctor prescribe us here. And I think that this guy's gonna take over. He did say though that he's moving June 1st. <laughs> so at least he'll help us. When we were engaged, JD found out he had high blood pressure. He went to do like last physical like on his parents insurance because back then you couldn't stand your parents insurance and um found out he had a high blood pressure so they put him on medicine and up until today i thought he had been taking that religiously since we got married and he was like no i'm not good at taking it which is interesting um and so the doctor was like so nobody found out at 21 years old why you had high blood pressure and he was like well they just said it was like hereditary and the doctor was like okay but like why like you don't just have high blood pressure so he's interested in finding out why and he said that whatever we're experiencing right now is probably from now 12 years of not adequately taking care of his heart and treating high blood pressure so um he also said some scary words like well, i guess the bottom ventricles or i guess i don't know which direction of your heart should be like half the size of the top ones and these ones were definitely um almost as big so he has enlarged ventricles and there's a couple other things that they found so the other thing the doctor's also very interested in like asthma but i'm like he for sure doesn't have asthma i well i shouldn't say for sure i know nothing he's very concerned with how the oxygen works with his heart so they just scheduled him for another test and luckily they're pulling a lot of strings to get him in and through all this before the doctor leaves. So it's actually pretty quick. Next week we'll have um, the VO2 is what they call it. And then they'll get us in the next week to actually meet with the doctor. They're doing a ton of labs. It took the lady like 
probably close to 30 minutes. And she's like, I haven't even heard of most of these. And she had like called another nurse in and they were trying to input them and they were like, I don't even know. So I am a little stressed because I think this is gonna cost us a lot. And being self-employed, we don't have great insurance. <clears throat> but I also feel like, I mean, obviously I'm gonna find out what's wrong with my husband, right? So whatever. Hi guys. <laughs> I am sitting in front of my little sister's house waiting to go. I need to go get Palmer and Rocky, but we just finished. It's a little after 12 and we were there at 8, so it was supposed to take like 45 minutes and it turned into four hours of tests and confusion. <laughs> my heart's really tender right now. Oh, I'm overwhelmed is probably... The emotion I think JD and I are both feeling the most right now. Um, if I had to wrap this up with a bow because the last four hours have been so confusing, especially to people without medical degrees. Um, his echocardiogram, whatever. His tests this morning, once again, were abnormal from the get-go. The doctor was looking at them and, like I said, throwing out weird things. Has he had a blood clot? Has he this or that? So he was like, I don't want you going anywhere, which is never a good sign, right? Like, the more immediate things are, the more worrisome. So he put in blood drawn. He put in so many things. Like, I honestly, I bet we just had like $20,000 worth of tests done. So, and I don't know how our insurance is going to handle it, but I told JD as long as he lives, we can make money to pay for it. It's fine. Like, you just, I just need you to survive. Basically, now we've had the EK, I, honestly, okay, first of all, let me see, if anybody knows more about medical stuff than me, there's a very good chance that you're going to be like, I don't think that's accurate. What I'm saying is what I understand, but I am overwhelmed and emotional for sure, and I am confused. For sure, no question about it, I'm confused. So it sounds like maybe the EKG showed you know, all the stuff, they saw inflammation, they went and checked, and he didn't have an immediate problem. Today's test, the ultrasound, they could tell that his, not his ventricle, the other part, so there's the four, the top part, it should be half the size as his ventricles, and it was as big. And then there was some kind of belt, started with an M, M something belt, and that was enlarged quite a bit as well. And so they said that if he, it is like just caused from high blood pressure that that eventually we could get that possibly to go down, but his liver isn't functioning as well as they would like. And so <coughs> tomorrow morning we go in for an ultrasound on his liver. Um, so he said that like, yes, everything could point to high blood pressure and maybe that's what we'll leave her with, but there's a lot of weird things. And he's like, I can't just in good faith be like, this is just high blood pressure. And based off of how the other doctor was like, oh, we gotta get to it immediately. I'm, I almost feel like there's something that people aren't telling me. I don't know, telling us, not just JD, like not just me, like they're not telling us. So we are going to get the ultrasound on the liver tomorrow. Then he has to pee in a, it's hard cause like he has to be peeing for, or fasting for one thing, he can't be for another thing. So they just took 21 vials of blood. 21 vials of blood from him. And he was fasting. Like he, I was like, you're gonna pass out, throw up something. I don't even know. He has to be fasting for tomorrow's test, but then he can't be fasting for when he takes the, the, when he pees in the thing, and then he has to come get more blood drawn. They can't take more vials than what he took today. They were like, we, we are gonna have to split this up. Like the doctor had to put in like a hundred different tests. I'm like, this has gotta be the most thorough doctor I've ever been to, which is good, but shocking and like so smart. I literally understood like one of every 10 words he said. So after he left, the nurse was like, do you have questions? And I'm like, all the questions. <laughs> so, then he pees in that, we come back on the 28th for more tests, more ultrasounds. They said you have to look at the lungs really closely because the lungs and the heart are together and one of the things is gonna check for scarring on his heart. And then we have a cardiac MRI and a follow-up. They wanna do all this before the follow-up May 3rd. 
so it is going to be a lot of appointments over the next 10 days. But that'll be fine. Um, I think right now I just need some time to process it and poor, <laughs> poor JD, you guys, we took separate cars and he rushed down to the Three Believe Warehouse because they have to be out of it like tonight or tomorrow, I'm not even sure. So he's like, I have to go. So I, he's under very strict orders not to do anything besides boss people around. So we'll see if he listens. Like I just have to go get back to normal. The kids have track, my kids the soccer game tonight. I gotta go pick up the littles and I don't wanna be like crying in the car to the littles right now. The kids don't know anything. And I wanna keep it that way, right? Until we know, like why worry them without cause. So, just gonna uh, keep on, keep on keeping on, and say a little prayer, then get back to the grind. I don't, I don't know. I don't even know. So we just got home from track. How was it? Good. Good. And we got a ring at the doorbell. Derek and Bree sent us Rumby Island Grill today. It's so good. So good. So, so Paige's eating this one. I don't know, I think I need to buy that before you get your grummy paws all over it. And she even knows our kids will enough to send them mac and cheese. This looks so good. I want a chicken. Miller's, thank you. It's been quite a day. It was very, very sweet of you. Some great assists, dude. The hustle, <laughs> y'all right there, buddy. Hey, hey, the hustle that you showed, proud of you. Yes, long day, but these two made it better, better than it started out. Thank you guys for being here today for the ups and downs of our journey, for the moments that are not so great, and the moments that are heaven on earth. We're here for it all, so thanks for being here as well, and we'll see you tomorrow. Peace out, dudes.